For step-by-step -step instructions and pictures, visit RAV4Gen5.com. This is the 2020 Toyota RAV4 Adventure. This is the dash cam I'm going to install on the front windshield. This is a low profile dash cam that will stay out of sight during our drive. There are two ways to install a dash cam. The first way is to use the wiring that is included with the dash cam, which is typically inserting something into a 12 volt socket and running wire from that location to the dash cam. The second way is to use a kit that allows us to tap into the fuse box and send power to the dash cam. That way you don't have to mess with wires being in the middle of your car. This is the low profile dash cam that sits flush with your window. And this is another type of dash cam that sticks to the window and sticks out and could be annoying when you're driving. This is the sticky material that's used to stick the dash cam to your window. This is the wiring that is included. It allows us to plug this into a 12 volt socket. The mini USB port will plug into the dash cam and then on the other side you have your micro SD card for storage. With the kit that goes into the fuse box, we have what is a step down converter. This takes your input voltage of around 12 volts and sends out 5 volts which is safe to use for your dash cam. These kits come with the add fuse that you will install both of your fuses here, send 12 volt power down the line, connect it to this piece over here where the power will continue to the step down converter and then out to the USB cable to a mini USB that will plug into the dash cam. Meaning we will not use this kit for this installation process, but I will show you how to use this at the end of the video. If the dash cam you buy uses a micro USB, most kits do come with a converter going from a mini USB to a micro USB. The first thing you want to do is identify a location you want to install your dash cam. In my case, I selected this location over here. That way when I'm in my driving seat, I don't see it. You can see here how it compares to a traditional type of dash cam that sticks out of the windshield. The overall plan is to run wire plugging into our mini USB port on this side, going up and over the headliner, and then down the A pillar, and then down here into the fuse box. If you were gonna use the wiring that came with your kit, you will most likely plug into the 12 volt socket located right here in the center console, and then run your wire behind the glove box, up the passenger A pillar, through the headliner, and then to the dash cam. Your fuse box is gonna be located right here by the driver's side. This is your fuse box cover, and there is a latch right here that you press on. These are the fuses that's available to tap into. I've already done the work off camera to know which slot we're gonna go into. It'll be the empty slot located at the far back, right here. If we look at the cover of our fuse box, it will be this empty slot right here. The fuse box provides our 12 volt power. The next thing we need is a grounding point, which I've already found and is located right here behind this compartment. We'll need to remove this strip and then this one over here. There are no major clips that hold this in place. You simply put your fingers around and pull up. This panel right here has a trim clip right over here. Then there is a spot on the back that needs to be unscrewed by hand. You can see that screw right there. The trim holder is right here, but instead of popping it out, just slide it downwards. Here's the trim, and it goes right here, which is why you can slide it down and out. This right here will be where we ground our power. The kit comes with one fuse, and in order to power this, you need another fuse. You can grab that other fuse from the fuse box inside your engine compartment. You'll want to insert the 5 amp fuse into the top slot, and then on the bottom, you can insert any fuse that is greater than 5 amps. Because the location of the fuse box and the ground is not located next to each other, I went ahead and stripped this wire. What I'm going to do now is plug this into our fuse box and then this at our grounding point. The direction of the fuse does not matter. And then for the ground, it'll go right here. So we'll loosen this up. Now we need to hide this guy somewhere inside of this area 
so that we can focus on sending this wire up the weather strip through the A-pillar. I'm gonna set my step down converter hanging over here and then start sending my wire up the weather strip. If we have to, we can pull it up to get to the very top, depending on how much room we have to put this cover back in place. The next thing is to send this wire up this weather strip and then continuing to this weather strip. Basically, we're just sliding this in here until we get to the top of this point right here. And when you're here, you want to push in to create that gap and then run your wire across. You just create a slight gap all the way there. And that's what it looks like going all the way across. And now we're at the end right here. From this point, we'll stuff it inside of here until we go all the way across. So now we are over here. We need to continue behind this and then go all the way across. So right now everything is plugged in and complete and our dash camera is off. If I put the car in accessory mode by pressing this twice, you can see we get power, which means this will only turn on when the car is in accessory mode or when it is on and running. Therefore it will not drain your battery. If you want to go with the traditional style of installing it using the center socket, you'll want to plug it in and then up here depending on the trim you have, there is a hole that you can send wire through. If you have the upper trims, there's probably a light installed, so you won't be able to do that, which is why I would recommend tapping into your fuse box and running wire the way we just did earlier. But if you don't have the upper trim and you don't have a light over here, this option is totally fine. Let me see if I can show you the hole. The hole is right here. This hole connects to the location behind the glove box. And just like we did in the other video, you can run the wire across, up the weather strip, through the A-pillar, and then to your dash cam. What you first have to do is remove the glove box, simply open it, then on the side over here, you're gonna push that out, and then you pinch this inward, and then this side inward, and the whole thing drops. And the wire will come out from over here. The first thing you need to do is send a mini USB through the hole and push enough wire through. So that you can feel it when you stick your hand all the way inside. So we're gonna send a bunch of wire through. I'm gonna put my hand in here, and see if I can't find that wire. After playing around a lot, I was finally able to get the wire out. Let's see, there it is. So we're just pulling it through. What you wanna do is just pull all the wire. Cause you can, whatever excess wire, whatever excess wire you have, you can just hide it over here. Then the rest, you can send it up the weather strip. So this goes in there. Now you still have full access to your compartment. When it comes to wiring this, you want to first plug this in and then work backwards. That way all of your slack will stay down here and then you can hide it. I won't go through the entire install process, but basically you're going to send your wire here and then you're going to find it over here somewhere. 
then you're going to push it behind this weather strip and then behind this like I did in the other side and go up and you're going to go around the A pillar and then back over here.